Well, hi everyone. Yeah, it's uh, Jonathan here, and I'm just going to take you through uh, our home office, uh, some of the audits, and some of the systems that we use here at Burtdale Park. They're not to say they're the best systems in the world, they're just systems we use here, and if you can uh, use some ideas, then, then great. Uh, I'm sure you've got lots of ideas, I'll be very interested in as well. So, I'm just going to take, take you in, point out a few bits and pieces as we, as we go. We'll see our main, main reception. Just before I go into the uh, the main office, I just want to highlight this is uh, this is our sort of immediate reception space, just like any other reception space, I'm sure. But I use this very much as our our promotional selling zone. So here I've got all of our certificates and uh, and awards. Uh, we've got our our table of honour with our various awards and and trophies on. Uh, and this is where I sell the home to our prospective uh, relatives um, or indeed residents. Um, just going into into our office here we've got the um, which I'll show you now there's our there's our Jackie give us away Jackie it's <laughs> so what we have here so that's my desk there it's a registered manager so we've got all, all sorts of uh, bits and pieces and and, uh, and I'll take you through the, um, uh, the screens in a second we've got Jackie we have Jane who normally sits here uh, and of course we've got the uh, reception function but I just want to walk walk you through some of the some of the things here the First thing we're just going to highlight is our notifications board. This is a board which, again, on the course, I'll, I'll show you this uh, in a little bit more detail. But this is how I, I run the home. It's absolutely second to none when it comes to the um, responsiveness of the uh, of the home. So what we've got on here: accidents, incidents, near misses, notifications, or indeed complaints. Um, we have them by obviously room who's on duty um, and. Anything of an uh, uh, accident or incident, everything gets recorded on there, remains on the board, gets eventually signed off by myself or notified to CQC, and then we close it down. But getting that on the, on the wall, similar to how I operated when I was in the military, is absolutely brilliant. Um, other bits and pieces. Uh, we've got our, this our main sort of vis wall. So we've got some of our metrics, some monthly metrics in terms of um, our what, what we call the Storm Guardian or the Buttdale Park Guardian, looking over your shoulder. So they're the main areas of compliance. A yellow means it's approaching sort of one to two weeks. A green's in date, and of course red means it has breached. Um, we've got strategic risk register. Uh, we've got our main mission and statements. So that's always there. And we've got some of our critical protocols for our entry and exit protocol on the home, and of course our main calendar which you see displayed there. Um, we've also then got, which I'll show you, is this screen here. And again, this is just uh, a throw over from uh, when I was in the forces. Now there is so many audits um, and so many actions that uh, we need as a central place to record them. So what we have here, I mean, I think it issued in front of you at the moment are the various audits. We've got 56 formal audits. We actually have a few more than that now. Um, but we have 56 formal audits which get sent out on a, a weekly and monthly basis. And I'll get Jackie just to take you through that. Um, this here though is our central um, main audits action. So, so this is an Excel spreadsheet. Uh, it's on the main computer, so it's an additional screen. And we record here all the actions that come out from all of the meetings, the audits, um, the walk-arounds, uh, any observations, uh, any other means of observation. So any action across the whole home all get ended up here. Um, and then you can see we've got uh, who it's assigned to in terms of the group, uh, the action, the, uh, the person who owns it, uh, and the, and the uh, deadline which has been assigned. Uh, and myself and Jackie go through those on a <coughs> weekly basis. Um, just to see what's been action closed down and so that sort of closed down is what's absolutely key for uh, for CQC. Um, I'm now just going to say to is Jackie, <laughs> Jack, Jackie's awesome, <laughs> she's not happy. Right, come on work with me, work with me, all these lovely people here. Right so so just talk me through Jackie, we, we've got a, a list of our 20 or 56 audits across the home, Right. so to tell me how how do they start their little journey? Because then you create, well, we created the audits we and then you issue the them. audits and then every Monday morning they are delivered to the appropriate departments with a cut-off date to be returned. Then the checked, any discrepancies are put on the main spreadsheet and then there's an action date for them to be completed. And so you and so you issue them from your red from, files, don't yeah. you? So there's, yeah. so there's a weekly... There's weekly and there's... So there you go. So there's 
Because there's monthly audits, if you were to issue all of those audits on one day, you just couldn't cope. Uh, and so as an office, so... You split them into four. So my main manager, my audit manager is Jackie here. So she's the one that orchestrates, she's the one that actually governs it. It's not me, it, it is Jackie, because she's much better at these things than me. <laughs> and she's the one, um, because there's no messing with Jackie, she's the one that actually issues the audit to the individual. So she physically hands it. Now instead of issuing 56 or how many at the start of the month, she breaks down a month into four weeks, so four weekly weeks. And those, uh, at the start of that week, she will then issue those audits to an individual, say that they've got to be back in by the Wednesday. The audits then come back into Jackie's desk. She then scrutinizes those in terms of what's acceptable and not acceptable. And at the end of that week, uh, at the same time, she then harvests the actions that have been identified on the audit. And then at the end of the week, Jackie will give me a pack not too dissimilar to this. A pack will be issued with all the weekly audits uh, for me to then go through and then countersign. Um, and if there's any further actions, it then goes back to Jackie and then in turn goes back to the original person who conducted the audit. So that's how, we're, that's how we roll. The key things here is everyone needs a Jackie, my hands off, Jackie's mine, right? So <laughs> you need a Jackie, someone to orchestrate this. Yeah, it's very, it's very expensive. Uh, you need one of these or something like that, which is like a big action bucket in your home. You certainly need someone then to, again, Jackie, to then scrutinise what's been issued. And then you need some sort of close down, whether it be on a weekly basis or monthly basis of all those actions, because there's just too many. Um, other things which I feel you should know is that that board there, the, the notifications board, I could not operate this business without that board. Um, and it's a cultural thing which takes time. So there, so there you go. Um, it just gives you a bit of an idea of how we operate things here. It's not, uh, I'm not saying that's the way you've got to operate it, it's just the way we do things here at Burtdale Park. It, it works well for us, but it's taken a few years to sort of get into that culture of that. Um, I'm quite, quite happy now to take any questions, but I'll see you soon. Bye.